Hello and welcome to Viewpoint. I'm Volodymyr Solohub. Joining us now to discuss the terror attacks in Paris is the military and defense expert, former Deputy Minister of Defense of Ukraine, Mr. Lenin Polyakov. Mr. Polyakov, welcome to Viewpoint. Mr. Polyakov, the first and the foremost question, why France, why now? It was not just France. Uh, just a few days ago, we had a massive scale terrorist attack in Beirut. Uh, before that, uh, Russian aircraft was down allegedly uh, also uh, as a result of terrorist attack. And um, in my mind, uh, this is um, a display of uh, the quantitative change in the security environment globally, uh, when uh, different actors, probably having different agenda, somehow uh, united against the West. And uh, France, at a certain moment, appeared to be a target of opportunity due to certain uh, internal French uh, conditions, uh, just a big number of uh, Arabic uh, ethnic citizens, um, problems with providing security in the open society, and uh, also foreign factors uh, like uh, France participating in events uh, in Northern Africa, in the Middle East, and uh, taking, I would say, rather aggressive uh, stand against ISIS and other uh, similar organizations. France claiming leadership uh, of Western efforts uh, in cooperation with the United States, uh, previously in Libya, for instance, now in Syria against ISIS, um, is a natural target um, of terrorists just to discourage the country leadership. Um, from taking this uh, active position against terrorists. Uh, probably, uh, if we continue this logic, uh, they hope to repeat the case of uh, Spain in 2005. If you remember, uh, there was a major terrorist attack, attack against the uh, train station, uh, after which uh, Spain uh, government decided to withdraw from Iraq. Um, if we go this way... So basically, in your opinion, the, the ISIS is trying to, to force France to, to, to stop their participation in the war against ISIS? Uh, from the point of view of uh, ISIS, it sounds logical. I'm not sure at all that uh, it is just ISIS who... Uh, inspired terrorists to attack right now, because uh, there can be other beneficiaries of this attack. Like who? Just, well, uh, judging by uh, what uh, other players, for instance, Russia, were saying or uh, hoping to achieve in Syria and uh, um, broader than that, uh, I can say that if we answer the question, who protest, uh, Russia is beneficiary because uh, it, uh, it is raising um, Russian hopes uh, to achieve uh, what, what they hope to achieve, um, kind of an alliance which will include uh, European countries, United States and Russia uh, against uh, terrorism in Syria. And... Um, Maybe, uh, I'm not claiming that Russia is behind this attack, but uh, who knows? Um, we had several instances, both in Russia, in Ukraine, and otherwise when uh, experts see uh, Russian interest behind possible or potential interest behind the event. Could it be possible that the interests of Russia and ISIS just coincide? Yes. in this in uh, this particular uh, scenario uh, because I said, it would be it could be quite a bold statement to say that Russia is uh, behind or inspired these attacks 
Well, uh, let's leave uh, the final judgment to experts um, and prosecutors. But uh, the fact is clear. Uh, Russia can benefit from this attack either through um, um, achieving its goals in building coalition, including Russia in Syria, or inspiring a radical uh, anti-democratic uh, political parties in France and other uh, places in Europe, which can claim that uh, democratically open oriented governments cannot provide for guaranteed security. Either or, Russia in both cases will be beneficiary. Mr. Polikov, the, the, the president of France immediately following the attacks um, said that once it was discovered that Russia is behind these attacks, said that uh, these, these, these attacks in Paris constitute an act of war of ISIS against France. In your opinion, what will be the next step of, of, of the French government? Will there be retaliatory strikes? Will there be retaliatory actions? I tend to think that uh, there will be retaliation uh, in different forms. So basically France will not back off as, 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 as Spain did? I think uh, France uh, will take a rather active position, not passive. And what do you mean by that? Uh, France has uh, enough uh, special forces, uh, both in terms of uh, potential, uh, but also an experience uh, in the past. But France has uh, powerful armed forces um, and other instruments of uh, hard power to uh, deal with uh, ISIS. Uh, France has also powerful allies. Uh, both uh, in Europe, in North America, in, in the Middle East. And if, uh, I hope, uh, they will be successful in building a rather viable coalition, not what we had before, uh, and taking um, bold steps, uh, the ISIS will be finished rather soon. But uh, the cost will depend on whether they are serious enough to deal with, or uh, they will continue, um, I would say, playing uh, with uh, different uh, diplomatic, uh, economic, and other instruments when the time came for uh, defense and security instruments. And so, I think the Bidikov, time... my final and my final and very brief question, if possible, this this attack which took place in Paris, it was a coordinated attack of um, of, of, of of several individuals which which struck at the same time in various locations. For for this for this level of cooperation, or for this level of coordination and, and this sophistication, um, there has to be a lot of uh, pre preparatory work needs to be done. To, to, to do this and to coordinate this. In your opinion, why didn't the Fra French security service uncover this, this terror attack on the stage of planning? Because obviously it, the planning must have taken months, if not years. As far as I know, uh, French security uh, structures were on a rather high alert, expecting something to happen like that. Uh, the problem is that in the open society, uh, especially with uh, society uh, such as French, multi-ethnic one, with uh, a significant number of uh, people with uh, Arab, uh, African and other descents, to uh, guarantee 100% uh, security is uh, close to impossible. Um, and uh, we have to remember that... Uh, before they were uh, on the high alert, before uh, Charlie Hebdo case, already uh, organizations like Al-Qaeda, ISIS, possibly other organizations, uh, likely had sleeping nets inside France and other countries. So uh, these nets probably were waiting for a signal. And uh, I would not be surprised if uh, 
uh, there are still other sleeping uh, agents are waiting for signal because uh, they are many and uh, experience of the United States, uh, the UK, Germany, and now we, uh, we uh, see this in France as well, uh, proves uh, that uh, some ethnic communities do not integrate. Uh, they continue living in their in their closed society, closed yeah, society and this looks like it which causes a lot of a lot of, yeah. a lot of threat and security problems for, for the country. Difficult to penetrate uh, by security uh, structures. Um, so yeah, it looks like looks like the, the situation is very still very unclear, unclear very fluid. Uh, Mr. Polyakov, uh, many thanks for finding the time to come and talk to us and share your valuable input. We really appreciate this. Um, uh, the um, uh, defense and military expert and former deputy of Ministry of Defense, Mr. Leonid Polyakov. Uh, this has been Viewpoint discussing the recent terror attacks in Paris. I'm Volodymyr Solohub. Thank you for watching Viewpoint. Right, thank you.